lines that struck me when I read his ex apostolic exhortation, and he repeated this twice. Realities are more important than ideas. Realities are more important than ideas. And it really shakes me up as a theologian. Because I think for many of us in theology, we tend to take the abstract. But yet, we are challenged to be honest with the real, which is what theologian John Sublino has often said, to be real with the real. Um, and I think theology, for me, has somehow become too hygienic. And I think it makes us rethink about the hygiene that is in our theology, and that we need to get messy, we need to go out to the muddy streets, and that we need to take suffering seriously in theology. We don't do that on the armchair, and how do we do that practically? And I think that's what I think Francis challenges me as the kind of theologian that I see myself as. You know, what, what am I doing with my theological studies? Does it serve me? And I think a very important element for me that Francis called up attention to is he brings up the notion of missionary discipleship. That the church is a missionary disciple. Something which we may have lost sight of or taken for granted. What does it mean to be a missionary disciple that bears the word. And something that struck me in his language is when he said that the church that goes forth is the church with open doors. <laughs> and that hit me because how have we closed the doors? Who are those whom we exclude that we really now need to open our doors to <clears throat> and seek forgiveness and be forgiven? And it takes a great deal of humility and this is what I see in our Pope Francis. I mean, I think he's not saying something new. All our popes have been saying the important thing, but what is different is his style, his tone. Mm. And what is amazing in that document is, at least in my own knowledge, he brings together the wisdom from the different synods of bishops. There was something from Asia, there was something from Africa, and he's so sensitive to the context in which we do mission. And there are many ways to do mission. So I think it's what is the small way that we can do to put ourselves out there and it demands community, it demands time. And I think patience, the spirituality of patience that comes through and you say, take time. The world needs time to grow. Don't think about space that we will con conquer, but think about the time. And it is in God's time that the world will grow, even in the midst of weeds. Beautiful. Even in the midst of weeds. The word will grow and trust that God grows it in the spirit.